Hey everybody, it is uh, Wednesday morning, uh, coming up on noon fast, and I've got two, a uh, couple different things I'm doing today. One, I'm starting the uh, Take Your SE Blade as far as it can go, I think it's SE Smackdown um, as possible. Got a new blade loaded in my uh, push button, and the whole concept is, I think I mentioned it yesterday, I showed a video at least, um, of, I think Ronnie is his name, made, about do like eight or so shaves on the blade, and then do some stropping, whether it's with a belt, an actual strop, a jeans, a towel, something to that effect to get the blade longevity up to see how far you can get it. I guess he got it 30 shaves, I think, last year. He's trying for 40 or 45. Douglas Smythe mentioned in another post that was going on today about uh, doing some cold shaves and stuff, he recommended a frozen towel shave. So right now on camera, I'm going to wet this towel down, cold water. It's getting wet as we speak, and the whole concept is put it in a bag, put it in the freezer while you shave, and then take it out and put it on your face after. So I figure I'm going to do it during the video. As you can see, the towel is soaking. I'm going to lightly wring it out. It's still dripping nice. To fit it into the Ziploc bag, I'm going to fold it a couple times. Still see, same towel, still wet, pattern, logo, don't want to be accused of not doing it. Going into the bag, you can still see it's dripping. And I'm going to pause this real quick so I can go through us in the freezer. Alright, I am back, on to the rest of my gear. I'm going to use a Slimer, my Nathan Clark Custom Synthetic. And I'm going to use a sample, it was a Mark Tidwell I believe gave this to me. Um, it's the Katie's Bubbles, I'm not a French speaker, but a uh, Glace Herbe. So it's got, supposed to be uh, like a menthol of sorts. So I've got that in the bowl. And then to finish off, um, Arlie was talking about, or used uh, Mel Bog today. And every time I wear that, I always get compliments for wearing it. So, figure why not. One final little bit. Uh, I want to make sure I get a good 15 minutes on that frozen towel. Douglas said it should be at least 15. During the Arizona meetup, I bought these for hanging out and all that stuff. And I've been looking for a blade bank. Don't know why I didn't think. Perfect little blade bank. So, why not? So, let me go ahead and uh, get my warm water running real fast. So I can dip my brush in. I don't bloom Katie Bubble soaps, at least the uh, samples for sure, because they're already soft enough. Get some water off, because once again I don't want to go through the sample too much. It's got a very, very pleasing scent. It's already, as you can see, picking up on the brush. It's a, it's a soft soap. I find it's not as soft in the puck. It's still soft in the pucks. But you can already see it's starting to clump up. So I'm just going to load it like that. And we'll uh, build a lather on my face. Might have to go back to it. But almost treating it like a cream. Just because it's pretty soft. There you go. Nice load. Got a very, very nice smell to it. All right, so tomorrow is going to be a, uh, I did the gym today and my men's group and all that. That was always a great day. Tomorrow is going to be a really exciting day because uh, get up. Right now the plan is to go to the gym early and then uh, the band for King and Country is coming back. They're actually putting on a full concert at our church already sold out um, and the way at least our church does it um, and I'm sure other churches do it as well but the way they get some of these bigger bands to come in and do full concerts at a reduced price is they people volunteer to basically be their roadies and all that so they can bring a smaller crew of people so I volunteered to be there tomorrow about 9 9 30 to noon to help unload the semi and then uh, 
I'm doing the security detail like I typically do for church. And then when it's done, at about, I think it's like 9 or 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that, till whenever we're done loading the semi, I'll be doing the same. So once I'm off of the security team, once I've been released from there, I'll go do that. I'm really digging the smell of this soap. Got that, like a grassy, you know, earthy kind of smell to it. Very cooling menthol. Really good lather. I'm really, you know, I think Katie's Bubbles does a good job overall. I just have a hard time with uh, softer soaps. I'm getting it dialed in better. Shave number one with this blade. And I have LTV. I used that on one of my few non uh, recorded uh, shaves. I got that in recently. It's going to be interesting to uh, throw that towel on. I'm not doing a full frozen shave. Um, depending on how that feels, I may try it. Um, there's been talk of doing like a frozen Friday. I may break out uh, cryogen again with the cryogen aftershave. And do that with a cold towel. See how bad that can get. And after each shave, since I'm looking at doing a good number with this, I'm going to just do little dots. That's, uh, I think, I forget what Ronnie's last name is. Greer, Greer, or something like that. Very nice scent. Very nice cooling menthol. Perfect for a day like this where I just had a really good workout. On to pass two. So yeah, tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Took off of work for it. Um, I'm joking around saying I'm actually going to work harder tomorrow than I do on a day of work. Especially physically. Originally I wasn't going to go to the gym tomorrow, but uh, the pastor was like, come on, let's go early. And I need to get more committed to the gym, so I figure why not. Just like I need to get more committed to reading my Bible, I've been kind of slacking a little bit these days. It's important. We all fall short, and it's just to remember it doesn't need to uh, define us, just overcome those uh, shortfalls. Uh, for this SE Smackdown, if you do see me use a SE blade on my head, it'll be a different blade. Just because uh, I don't want to throw off the numbers because obviously pretty big surface area up there. And all these uh, SmackDown shaves will be three pass shaves. Even if I use my uh, Micromatic Open Comb, I'll still make it a three pass. This is a very, very nice scent. It's got that menthol, but it's earthy, and I like that. If anybody knows I'm liking the, the grass, earth kind of vetiver, that type of stuff. So 
So this is right up my alley. Mark, thank you. I think it was Mark who sent this. This is definitely a, uh, a winner in my book. Got a little bit more water for didn't need it but there's my against the grain so and it can handle it Mind them, I mean, look how much lather's left. I know I loaded it heavy because it was super soft, but still, there's enough in that bowl. I can use it again. And I may actually just use it for my head shape tomorrow. And use a different soap for my face since it's already in the sample bowl. Because for my face, I've got uh, Dr. John's propaganda showing up tomorrow. It's actually showing today, but I'll be at work when it shows up. I think I'll be pretty close to 15 minutes. We're at a uh, 12:20 right now, and I put it in about a minute in, so I think so. It's about 11. And I'm going to do a touch up on my neck, so. I'm really trying to figure out. It's the elusive neck for me. I'm trying to practice stretching, see what I can do. Because I know there's going to be days when I really want a super smooth neck shave. I don't want to talk to them. Shaving's more important than a All right. Well, uh, I rejected that phone call, but for some reason it went over to voicemail and it killed the video. And that's never happened before. I've rejected plenty of calls during my shaves. But nothing else happened. I was actually just finishing up. So I'll splice that together and Go from there, let me uh, cold water rinse, and then I'll go get my towel. Ooh. I do love the feel of that cold water, especially after a menthol shave. One of these days I'll get a my sink doesn't, the stopper's broke. So one of these days I'll bring in a uh, a bowl, fill it up with ice into the ice shave to work my way up to that. All right, everybody, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go get that towel. All right, I'm back. If there's any doubt that this was in the freezer, you can see the condensation build up. My face is already cold, so this is gonna be interesting. Whew. 
Feels cold in my hand already. Try not to let it warm up too much. Here we go. Ooh. Actually, not too bad. Oh, Douglas says he puts uh, a couple other things into the, the water that he uses. Honestly, I could have left it in longer. Mm. But it feels really, really nice. I couldn't imagine with cryogen, but once again, as you can see, there's plenty of water left in here. All right. Go ahead and dry my face. That does feel really nice. I think he said he put eucalyptus and something else in the water. So I can see that being very, very nice. Whew. Very good shave. Very pleased. I will be using that frozen towel thing in the summer a lot more. Um, I can tell already. On the metal bug. Such a wonderful scent. Trying to keep it off that cut on my hand. It's interesting because this scent always warms up my face a little. So I'm kind of getting that heat cool thing kind of going on. More surface area. Let the good smells come in. Ooh, got a lid on that finger. All right. So that was my frozen towel shave. Um, next time I'm going to do it longer. Um, I'll probably put it in, a, um, actually when I jump in the shower. So it'll probably be about a good 20 minute um, freeze on there. It's a little short today. But everybody, that was a fantastic shave. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that frozen challenge at some point in time. Seeing how far I can stretch this blade, just for science, we'll say. God bless everyone. Have a wonderful day. I will catch you when I catch you tomorrow, um, whenever I can get my shave in during the middle, middle of the busy day. Definitely not doing it before the gym. So God bless everyone. We'll talk to you later and have a wonderful Wednesday.